I'm Christine O'Donnell, live in West Hollywood, where high winds caused a huge power outage. I'll tell you when the lights are expected to turn back on. Coming up, Fox 11 Morning News at 5.30 starts right now. Hey there, so we are in the very loud Fox party tonight, celebrating these huge wins. You can see Taraji B. Henson just walked in, and she's got her golden globe. Taraji, how are you feeling? Great! I now know how to uh, to ride a Segway. I could be a mall cop. This is pretty impressive. The lack of women in the industry, the numbers are shocking. I, I'm out here with the U.S. Forest Service right now. That's Lolo Romo. He's an assistant engineer. And he's about to head up this rugged terrain over there to try and get to the top and do some firefighting. I don't really climb, so I'm a little bit scared, not going to lie. So they said I can just let go. Oh my God, oh my gosh, we're okay. We're okay, we're good. So guess who recently became the target of Trump supporters in a case of mistaken identity? Who? Who could it be? Well, that would be me. It happened yesterday. That's when another woman named Christine O'Donnell, a longtime politician and member of the Tea Party, made an appearance on CNN criticizing Trump. Don't be a hater. Do a little research, people, before and you go that. throwing hate around on the internet. Please. Everyone's so quick. Quick to judge. You do look like you can cast a spell or two, though. Wow. Give him that. <laughs> Just wait. <laughs> Christine O'Donnell in Santa Clarita. I think you can hear, or we can hear you now. Oh, you, you very smart. Who in here feels lucky? <laughs> Who is feeling lucky? I'd like to go to Hogsmeade, get some butter beer, butter beer. find the mortar, mortar's map, take a little. It's not actual beer, you know that, right? I know. It's just delicious. I got excited when I heard yeah. beer, but no. I'm not sure I want to waste the calories. <laughs> you know? I would do it. Okay. I keep doing stuff that scares me. Oh my gosh! This is crazy, guys. You're here to report, not uh, to take a side, but they want to take the kid away from her family to continue their family values. Does that make sense? You know, I think that it's really hard for me to say whether or not it makes sense or not. I know how I feel, but again, this isn't a story about my feelings. It's about uh, a court case and about what's legal here. And um, this isn't just about this child's short-term interests and what might happen to her if she's taken from the family, but her long-term best interests. It's hard to believe, but we're standing inside what was someone's home 5,000 years ago, and where we are is the atrium, or the center of the home. If you can imagine this, these homes went up three, four stories, so there were columns on top of columns, and about 30 to 40 people lived in each one. Biodiesel, it's actually so clean you can drink it. So we're gonna drink it right now on live TV, we're gonna try it. Am I trying it with you, or? Yeah, I'm actually really nervous. <laughs> you first. Oh, do I just stick my yeah, finger yeah. in? Okay. You're laughing at me. Do you want to try this too? He says he's tried it before. It's like drippy. Yeah, it's a bit quite gloopy. I can't believe I'm tasting fuel. What the heck? It's really sweet. It's really sweet. He's going to try some too. It's like syrup. Hmm. Drink it. It's probably safer than half the things in Drink it. Drink it. Drink it. You did the crime, you do the time. You eat the Doritos. You gotta stand in the line. All right, Fox 11. I'm hot now. I <laughs> You're hot now, me too. This is the first time she's been to anything like this, so it's fun to just see how she's gonna react to it all. That's a very dad thing to say. Well, it's true. It's a miracle. It's a miracle. It's a miracle. It's a miracle. Now we can go ahead and see Star Wars The Force Awakens. And I was just speaking with some diehard fans. Take a look, they're gonna fight for us over here. Now this little one, he, of course, is about to go see the movie. Oh no, <laughs> it looks like he got his arm. Hi guys, it is very cold outside. You might've caught me just doing the dance to try and stay warm. But I have been told that there will be a day for the public to come in and pay their respects to the former first lady, just like they did President Reagan. That victim, we're told she's being treated here at County USC Medical Center, and she is expected to be okay. Now we are live in Boyle Heights. I'm Christine O'Donnell. Back to you guys in the studio. Thank you, Christine.